Are you tired of losing money trading cryptocurrencies? Sign up for my free trading AI with over 50% monthly return on your investment. Link is in the description. As we already stated, do not be concerned, gentlemen. While the FDIC affirms it will cover all deposits, the CEO of Ripple admits SVB exposure. Questions have been raised about the current rash of whale deals, particularly in light of the problems involving Silicon Valley Bank and Silvergate. Who will be affected? XRP investors by this? Last but not least, the cryptosphere has decided on the XRP price for March 31st. With a 90% plus accuracy rate, Will the hopeful predictions of the community come true is the key question. Guys, follow me through to the finish to learn more. Check out his latest video, which begins right now, if this sounds like something that would be of interest to you. Welcome to our channel, where we discuss the most recent XRP news as well as cryptocurrency news in general. If you're watching one of our videos for the first time, we'd like to extend a special greeting to you. To ensure that you never miss a new video, we encourage you to turn on notifications. Additionally, we want to let you know that this channel is giving away 200 XRP to have a chance of taking part. The winner will be notified tomorrow if you simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment with the hashtag XRP. The Silicon Valley-based blockchain payments company was questioned over the weekend about potential exposure to the failed bank. Without revealing more, Brad Garland House, the chief executive officer of Ripple has acknowledged that the company holds investments in the defunct Silicon Valley Bank. In a three-part Twitter conversation titled SVBKES Ripple has some exposure to SVB, the CEO of Ripple made this revelation. He gave the general public and his clients the reassurance that this exposure was not serious enough to affect business operations. Garlinghouse claimed that the company possessed cash reserves with a diverse network of banking partners. Despite the uncertainty surrounding SVB customer deposits at the time, Garland House concluded that Ripple is still in a healthy financial position. It is noteworthy that the chief executive of Ripple noted that the SVB collapse exposed the flaws in the conventional financial system. Specifically, rumors may cause bank runs that result in failure. Money flow continues to be challenging since banks are unable to handle wire transactions continuously. The Silicon Valley-based blockchain payments business was questioned over the weekend about potential exposure to the failed bank. According to the information, David Schwartz, chief technology officer at Ripple, revealed that the company would make a formal announcement. In the meantime, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation has revealed that it will insure all SVB deposits regardless of whether they are insured, after Ripple's announcement. A recent Bloomberg story stated that beginning on March 13th, depositors would have access to all of their funds. The systemic risk exception rule that permits the Fed to issue direct loans gives the FDIC the authority to do this. The FDIC was intended to require insured depositors to hold while paying advance dividends to uninsured depositors. However, as was noted in a prior analysis, more than 93% of SVB clients lacked insurance. Regulators decided to back up deposits as a result of this and the challenge of finding a buyer by the weekend due to the limited time for due diligence in order to avoid a potential spillover effect and the demise of several American tech businesses who bank with SVB. As previously mentioned, SVB went through a bank run last week that compelled regulators to intervene on Friday. After a corporation announced plans to raise capital by selling a sizable number of shares after suffering losses on previously held securities as a result of Fed rate hikes, the bank run got underway. It lacked the liquidity to accommodate the influx of withdrawal requests because the majority of customer deposits were held in long-term securities. The FDIC will probably open another auction within the week to continue looking for purchasers while it processes withdrawals. Elon Musk had reportedly expressed interest in buying the bank that had failed. Please remember to tick the notification button and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about any developments involving XRP. I want to tell you something about decks of cards before I begin. A market maker is a self-contained liquidity provider. The decentralization of cryptocurrency trading is aided by someone donating their crypto assets to a platform. You can gain incentives by using the export in exchange for fees from trading on that platform, 
which many people believe to be a sort of passive income. The term, automatic compounding, refers to a blockchain asset management system that automatically combines incentives and generates the maximum possible compound interest rate using optimization strategies and data analytics. These protocols often invest one or more times per day in the returns or involvement of LP users. To enhance Python. To be clear, anyone can offer liquidity to decentralized marketplaces like Uniswap, SushiSwap, and others. Bull. Additionally, there are many advantages to making this kind of long-term investment, including with the fact that you continue to earn rewards even though your cryptocurrency is still staked. Additionally, as decentralized platforms are built on blockchains, they are able to completely automate the coordination of crypto trading among several users on a wide scale. If you click the link in the video description, you can take advantage of a special welcome bonus offered by Dixwell. With this offer, you might receive up to 100 XRP. The attendee's liquidity bonus is it. The offer has a cap. This bonus will be given to you whenever you deposit money. Whale for Ripple and XRP investors have recently begun to wonder why the coin recently moved approximately 1 billion XRP tokens in less than two hours. According to data, 200 million Ripple tokens, or up to 916 million XRP, were jumbled in eight transactions. A whale alert noted that Ripple transfers marked the start of the most recent cluster of whale transactions. The Silicon Valley business sent 200 million XRP, $72.7 million, to an arbitrary location. Ripple activated the receiving address, indicating that it is associated with the company. The transferred monies might represent a portion of the 1 billion XRP tokens that were released from escrow this month. Immediately after releasing the tokens from escrow on March 1st, Ripple paid 300 million XRP to an associated address. As previously mentioned in the Crypto Fundamentals, this account moved 100 million XRP tokens from the 300 million received to an unidentified address on March 6th. The address most recently transferred the last 200 million tokens to the same unidentified address as the transaction on March 6th. To support liquidity, it is anticipated that these tokens would be transferred to exchanges. Analysis of the money's flow also showed that it was ultimately sent to Bitstamp and Bitstamp via several distinct addresses. The staggering 245.5 million XRP worth $8.9 million was shuffled on the same day as the Ripple transaction to the unidentified whale accounts. It's important to note that although the sending wallet's identity is unknown, data suggests that the activation of the wallet came from an official Ripple address. Two minutes later, the receiver wallet moved the money and other assets to an unidentified wallet. The total amount of this transaction was 278.6 million XRP, $100.8 million. We'll additionally highlight a different transaction that involves an internal transfer between two different accounts in the alert. Addresses were mixed up for 31.3 million XRP, $11.3 million. The remaining transactions included a single Bitrix connected address which sent 161 million XRP over four different Bitstamp accounts. In the first transaction, 44 million XRP were exchanged, and 51 million XRP were sent in the second. Additionally, 33 million XRP were transmitted from the address twice. Remember that the CEO of Ripple confirmed the exposure to Silver Valley Bank, despite the FDIC's assurances that it would protect all deposits. Additionally, the version 4.0 release of the XRPL self-custody wallet XUMM includes fresh improvements. The months-long in-development release is jam-packed with noteworthy adjustments that improve security and streamline transactions. The availability of pathfinding payments in SMM is another significant development. The beneficiary receives the precise money they requested, and users can pay with any token that is present on the XRP ledger. Now for the big question of the day, will the confident crypto community's historically correct projection of the XRP price for March 31st come true? Take place trading volume for XRP abruptly increased by 112%. The unexpected surge in trading volume was not followed by a major price gain, according to coin market cap statistics, which raises questions about the cause of the increase. 
The XRP token responded with a modest dip on its daily chart after Ripple's CEO Brad Garland House disclosed his company's involvement to the nearly failed Silicon Valley Bank SVB. But the cryptocurrency community is still optimistic about the digital asset. In fact, XRP is predicted to reach a projected average price of 41 cents by March 31st based on the 1115 community votes made by users of the cryptocurrency tracking platform's coin market cap as of press time. According to data, the price of a token has risen by 13.6% as of right now. Found on March 13. The technical analysis of XRP on the one-day gauges at the trading view of the financial monitoring website is bearish. Its summary is in line with the strong sell sentiment at 16, which is the result of moving averages pointing at a strong sell at 14 and oscillators in the neutral area at 8. The token's price is currently 38 cents, up 3% from the previous day's close, but down 4% from the week before and 5.7% from the last 30 days. Whether the community's optimistic predictions come true will depend on a variety of factors surrounding its ecosystem, such as the outcome of the legal dispute between the blockchain company Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, as well as the wider crypto and macroeconomic landscape, according to the most recent data retrieved by Finbold on March 15. So gentlemen, this concludes the video. Please be sure to like the video if you found it enjoyable. Don't forget to click the notification button and subscribe. I find that the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by this. Sharing this video with as many people as you can will also help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Let's spread the word about this, guys. Don't miss any of our stuff if you are a serious Bitcoin enthusiast. We'll chat about the most recent news that affects our community as a whole when we meet you tomorrow.